You have a watch on? It is uh, 18 after 8. Okay, cool. <laughs> Ten hardest shots in billiards. See Frank over there, they'll score you away on that. Uh, also, Saturday evening, you can do with Schomburg. They'll be there Saturday night. That's a no charge exhibition. Also, uh, the Care Billiards Foundation of America, some pamphlets here. Do you have information on that? Maybe you'd like to sign up and join it. Also, we're going to be doing some billiard tournaments here in the near future. So if you'd like to get on the mailing list, for us and for the foundation there, fill this out. It says register to win. You don't win anything with the chance to get on the mailing list. On the back, put your address. Print legibly. All right, first of all, I'd like to uh, introduce Mr. Dino Andrews. He's the president of the Karen Billiards Foundation of America, instrumental in bringing Mr. Rojas down here. Round of applause. Fine billiard player himself. Introduce new national stars going all over the world. He's from Mexico City, Mexico, Roberto Rojas. artistic billiards. Uh, there's a competition in the world of the 68 trick shots, which are very, very difficult shots. Because they're so difficult in the artistic world tournament, you get three attempts at every shot. So if Roberto, by some rare chance that he misses, he's going to take up to three times to shoot each shot. Also, we're going to start with the easiest shots of the program and gradually make them a little bit harder and harder towards the end, get more into the Mass A shots with the elevated cues, which uh, is very exciting. So let's start out right now. This is uh, the first shot. Roberto is going to shoot with the yellow ball. He's going to make contact with the white ball, then hit a rail, and then draw back and double the rail behind the red ball. Four follow shot. It's commonly known as force follow. What's going to happen is Roberto is going to shoot the yellow ball again. It's going to make contact with the white ball. The yellow ball is going to hit this cushion, come out, hit this cushion again, the bottom cushion, and score the red ball. This 
this is the first draw shot. It's going to happen. It's going to shoot off the white ball. It's going to make contact with this rail. It's going to draw around, touch the bottom rail, then the side rail, and score the red ball. Three cushions. shot, double the rail, it's going to go through the white ball, horse follow, his ball will hit this cushion, this cushion, this cushion, and a red ball. First follow shot. The cue ball is going to make contact with the white ball. It's going to touch this rail. It's then going to venture out towards the center of the table, curve, come back in, touch this rail, this rail, and score the red. known as the double draw. It's going to shoot, make contact with the white ball, it's going to touch this rail, cue ball is going to come back out, come back to this rail, touch the bottom rail, and score the red. Follow shot, white ball, one rail, two, three, four cushions, and score the red. side rail, the side rail again, the bottom rail, back to the side rail, and score the red ball.
This is a draw shot. It's going to draw. Okay, this is for a follow shot. Shoot through the white ball, touch this rail, come out, curve back in for the bottom rail, the side rail, and score. Also a force follow. This is in a very difficult position. It's going to go through the white ball to this rail, to this rail again, to the bottom rail, and score the red. Maybe just one rail. shoot the yellow ball through the white ball. It's going to take a hop over the red, touch this rail, this rail, this rail, score the red ball. Once again, if you just got your Romax table 19, Roberto Rojas from Mexico City is putting on a free billiard exhibition. Welcome to move there and see how it's really done.
I like a softer tip. I like like a elk master or something like that. Blue tip. Mm -hmm. He's gonna try one more time. With this, yeah. yeah. Okay, we're going to move on to the next shot. This is a force follow shot. The white ball is going to touch the yellow, come to this cushion, side cushion, curve back around, and score on the red. Roberto is going to shoot the yellow ball inside the red. You see it's very close to the rail. This is a seven or eight rail shot around the table. Okay, he's going to try it one more time. going to go on top of the rail and spin on the house cue. For the entire time that the ball is on the rail, 
Uh, you need to applaud the shots to give the cue ball a little bit more energy so it can travel and come back and score the red ball. So please, when the ball gets up spinning on the cue stick, we'll, uh, we'll all applaud the shot and see what happens. is known as the door. Roberto will shoot the yellow ball. The yellow ball is going to jump over this first cue. The white ball's going to touch that rail, hit the second cue, open the door, and score the player. <laughs> sure. It's a big door. <laughs> this is an exercise that Roberto does in Mexico City. It helps him with his concentration. Keep your eye on the balls. Watch the speed.
This is a three cushion shot. Roberto is going to drop the ball on the top of the cushion. It's going to travel to the opposite side of the table, come back, get one of the two balls, catch the last rail, and score the billiard. more tries. <laughs> Say shots, which are elevated cue shots. Which we don't do here in Romine. There we go. can't do it. <laughs> everybody will be practicing. Yeah, everybody will be practicing these. This, uh, this shot is known as the PK. Roberto is going to hit the yellow ball. It's going to travel down this rail. It's going to touch the white ball. Then it's going to stay on this rail. Maybe get six, seven, twelve, who knows how many rails. See if you can count them. Side rail, curve, 
to the top rail, the side right. rail, in the front of the building. I don't know the numbers. I was sort of, give me a call. shot. The ball will masse down the side rail, pass the red ball, double the rail, come back out and score. This is a variation of the first shot, the PK. The yellow ball will travel down the rail, touch the white ball in the corner, and then travel down the side rail and score the red ball. shot. The yellow ball will strike the white, come out, touch the side rail, curve back in, maybe get the third rail and score the red ball. around the table. The yellow ball will strike the white, touch the bottom rail, travel up the table, curve on the outside of the trough, back around the table to score the red ball.
This shot is called the yo-yo shot. The yellow ball will strike the white, travel down the cushion, touch the bottom rail, travel up the cushion, back down, back up to score the red ball. the table, two, three cushions. It's then going to curve to the top rail, to the side rail, and score the billiard. side rail, curve back around and score the billiard. He's going to shoot it one more time. Say in the corner, watch the yellow ball as it strikes the white ball, stays in the corner, and it will pick up six, maybe seven, maybe eight rails. Good. 
just picked up an hour again. After the summer. Are you uh, Touch the yellow ball. Come to this rail. Travel across the table. Curve. Go behind. Maybe behind. Red ball. Come back up and score. Thank <laughs> you. 
six rails, go off the white ball, travel down the end rail, come back, see if you can count the rails. This Mass A shot, yellow ball, will travel down, touch the side cushion, curve back up, touch the top cushion, the side cushion, come down and score the billiard. will be Roberto's last two shots, three shots, excuse me. Uh, before we do them, we would like to tell you about the CBFA for half a minute. Uh, this is a new organization that's dedicated to exhibitions and seminars and the promotion of Karen Games in the United States. So if you are interested in being a supporter of these exhibitions and seminars, please take our brochure after the exhibition. Also, if you would like to have Roberto autograph one of the brochures, that's fine. We're going to be here for about five or ten minutes after the exhibition. So, please. This Massé, the yellow ball, will touch the white ball. We'll travel to the side rail, the side rail, this side rail, curve back in, and score the billiard. Stay down there, Dan. Try and catch it. 
better we can see it. the white ball. Travel to this side rail, out to the center of the table, curve back in, touch these two rails, and score the red ball. Get out, 
Once again, if you want to get on our mailing list for a billiard tournament, 